So over the past couple months, I've got a bit of a fever and I knew I wanted a new tube condenser. At some point for my studio to fit into my mic locker, I knew it had to happen. So I spent probably, I don't know, probably two, three months researching, looking around, trying out different things, just seeing what was gonna work best for me. So the missing link that always existed in my vocal chain was always a large diaphragm tube condenser. I'd been dabbling with an SM7B for a while. Um, I, I have a Neumann KMS-105, a couple different condensers and, and dynamic mics, but I didn't really find, um, you know, I was getting really good results, but I just, it just wasn't that. It wasn't everything I wanted it to be. Ultimately, I'm so glad I ended up settling on the MA300 by my friends over at Mojave Audio. Now this microphone is by far the sweetest sounding tube condenser that I've ever recorded into. Not only did they use top of the line components, all of the components um, in the microphone and in the power supply are burned in for a minimum of 24 hours um, before it, even le it leaves the factory. Everything is hand tested and the designs are created um, by David Royer himself. Now, in terms of the sound quality, you just get this incredible clarity, but also this really warm bottom end as well. Now, when you introduce a tube into the circuit, obviously there's some minor saturation, some tube harmonics that are created. So that's probably part of the reason why this mic sounds as incredible as it does. The MA300 features a 15 dB pad, as well as a high pass filter built into the mic as well. So this can really expand your horizons regardless of what source you're recording. It features a seven pin XLR connection, um, which is powered by the external power supply, which is included with the microphone. You have three separate options. You can choose um, your figure eight polar pattern, you can choose a cardioid pickup pattern, or you've also got an omnidirectional pattern as well. And what's particularly cool is you can choose any combination. So it's just a continuous knob and you can choose any combination of these patterns to suit whatever it is you're recording. The power supply can be inverted from 110 or to 230 volt, just at the flip of a switch. That's a, an amazing feature. It means you can take this anywhere in the world and know you're, you're ready to rock and roll. So where the MA300 really excels for me is tracking vocals as well as acoustic instruments. For example, my Taylor acoustic, my 514, I find it, it's a very bright sounding acoustic. So there's not a lot of body um, in it. It's a very strummy sort of bright sounding guitar. So when tracking using that guitar, using the MA300, it's a completely different sound. It brings out that bottom, that real rich bottom end. Um, it doesn't sound boomy or it doesn't sound muddy, but it just helps to bring up that, that body. Now, in terms of the workmanship, this mic is very heavy. It's got a nice weight to it. Um, it's in a nice solid, um, you know, metal housing. It it's just feels like it's, it's built like a tank. Now the MA300 does ship with an awesome case. <laughs> And what's really cool is it actually ships, oh, hang on, it's up there. It comes with an internal case as well. So a case within a case, which will house the mic itself. So it's nice if you want to just grab the mic and bring it, you know, between projects or keep this separate. If you need to bring everything with you, you got the big bulletproof case as well. So awesome protection. I know I'm going to have this stuff for the rest of my career, for sure. It's just really well built stuff and um, excellent value for money. Without a doubt, the MA300 is one of the best mics I've used. It's here to stay in my home studio and I can't wait to have it for years to come. Coming back again And I'll never hit the station I'll never find my way I'm stuck up on